to part two now of our feature looking at the German Bundesliga. This weekend, the league is back from its midwinter break with its three representatives in the Champions League knockout stages and its national team consistently making the final stages of the major competitions. Many look to Germany as football's role model. Supporters across Europe are envious of the prices and facilities in German stadia, but this season has seen something of a domestic squabble, as Andrew Lindsay explains. The Bundesliga has Europe's biggest average crowds watching some of the best football, but there's been a distraction. This season, one date has been on the minds of German football fans. 12-12 is on their lips and it's in the news. From summer, they awaited that date in suspense over new security proposals they say threaten football culture. We have a problem with the politicians, um, mainly with these um, who are responsible for, for safety and security in the cities, give a lot of pressure to, to the clubs. The football um, and the clubs and the, the two governing bodies are ready yet to cope with all the um, demands from supporters' side. The German supporters are very well organized. The attention of the clubs were, were headed much, much too much to sponsors or to TV um, companies and they forgot a little bit about the, the supporters. They can't value um, what, what the supporters give to the football. Sometimes they've brought violence, racism and fireworks. Police want more money, greater power and fewer opposition supporters. But fans say their sports become a political football in the run-up to federal elections. So the people who call themselves the team's 12th man stayed silent for 12 minutes. The message? This is football without fan culture. Then they made their presence felt in Frankfurt, travelling for hours to be a collective presence outside the league meeting on 12-12. Different coloured hats and scarves, same opinion. One big threat is the fact that uh, the politicians are, are trying to, to push in, in here a little bit uh, and, and causing a, a security uh, issue where there really isn't one. Uh, on one day at, at the Oktoberfest, for example, there's, there's more people getting injured than uh, on 34 match days in, in the Bundesliga. So we do have a very unique atmosphere. And there are structures. There are a lot of uh, fan groups. There are a lot of fan organizations. Um, there are a lot of supporters organizations that would be able to, to speak for, for, for a bunch, for, for thousands of, of fans. But uh, none of them were involved. And that is a, that's a pity. We have over 30 million people in Germany who say that they are a fan of the Bundesliga. What we saw today is only a little piece of them, but nevertheless, um, we take them serious, the clubs should take them serious. They underlined how important the German fan culture is for them, the German football culture is for them, and the clubs are pretty aware of it. The league passed 16 rules, but made clear that standing would not be threatened. Clubs can reduce the tickets for opposition supporters, but must give good reason, and they'll clamp down on fireworks with increased security, including cameras. Well, my impression is it's necessary that there is no, no illegal things, and it's uh, important for the politicians that uh, we find a way to, to keep our house clean, and uh, that's good for them because uh, they don't need too much police. And, uh, that costs money and uh, that's what the politicians want to make sure. With the country going to the polls at the start of next season, those watching the game will also be watched. Their power is under threat, but supporters across Europe continue to see the Bundesliga as football's most enlightened model. Andrew Lindsay, BBC News, Germany. Golf now, Roy McElroy and Tiger.